And so he asks us today to live with the humility that does the same thing, that we will know in every situation that all of us are God's children. But what is the definition of humility? Jesus says to us in the Gospel of Luke today, Jesus says to us that it is important for us to be humble. He says those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Now, that's not the American way. We want to be number one. Am I right? We're always talking about being number one. Now, we're not going to blame it on Avis' rental car, but they kind of did begin it when they made that advertisement, we try harder. To do what? To be number one. To beat hurts. That was their slogan for many, many years. Still remains, we try harder. How many times this season will you see one of the Michigan State wide receivers or a football, professional football player or a Notre Dame player who has just caught a beautiful pass that puts the team ahead by six points. How many times do you think you're going to see that receiver run over to the linemen and thank them? Instead, you'll see something like this. Am I right? I did it, you know? Now, maybe he's not saying I'm number one. He's saying we are number one. It's not in our bones, it seems, to be humble. Now, we also have a sense that there's much low esteem in our society. So what is humility between those extremes of being number one and having a terrible self-esteem? Jesus is not asking us to hate ourselves. That is not humility. Jesus is not asking us to be obsequious. That is not humility. Humility is the realization that every single one of us is created in the image and likeness of God. And in that way, all of us are just like every else one of us. When we are humble, we recognize who we are in relationship to God. That's what Jesus is talking about. We are who we are. I am who I am. Praise God. But I am not God. So every single one of us, black and white, red, yellow, and brown, we are all the same in God's eyes because every single one of us is a child of God. And that's where our humility should be found. So because someone professes their faith in God by saying, I am a Muslim, does not make that person evil. Because somebody says, I profess my faith in God because I am Catholic, does not make them evil. Because somebody says, I am a Jew in professing his faith in God, that does not make him or her evil. Because someone says, I am a Mormon when I profess my faith in God, that does not make them evil. Nothing makes us evil because of our faith in God, because all of us are one, because all of us 
are children of God. Jesus also says to us today that when we invite someone to our home, oh, he says a banquet, meaning the kingdom of God, that we are to invite the poor, those who are crippled, those who cannot in any way repay us for our goodness. What Jesus is saying is the kingdom of God is for all of us, every single one of us. And so when we invite folks to be with us in the kingdom, we need to be hospitable to them, hospitable here in this church, hospitable in our neighborhoods, welcoming people into our home and into the places where we work because they are children of God. None of us gets excluded from God's love. All of us are equal in God's place. And so if we are to hear what Jesus did, because Jesus gave himself without any concern about what would happen, if we are going to follow Jesus, then we must have His humility because every single one of us is just like everybody else. We are all children of God. Amen.